to reinforce the possibilities, therefore, some systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries supply a given area of lung exclusively. More usually, however, the systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries join up with the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries, and then they feed all the areas of lung that are supplied by those intrapericardial pulmonary arteries. But remember that some of the pulmonary arterial segments can receive dual supply. There is then one final possibility to take into account, and that is when the intrapericardial pulmonary arteries are totally absent. Then, of course, the supply is exclusively through the systemic to pulmonary collateral arteries. The pediatric cardiologist must then establish the extent of each systemic to pulmonary collateral artery, remembering that particularly in this situation, there may well be arborization anomalies.